Audio test number four. Attempted bank robbery. You will hear an audio script concerning a mission-related topic. This script will be followed by a conversation between two people. The conversation will relate to the script. You will hear the recording only once. You will make notes of the script and of the conversation, and from these notes, you will have been instructed to either answer ten questions or complete a written report of the incident. Good luck. At thirteen hundred hours on the sixteenth of March two thousand and six, the operator on duty in police station number nine received an emergency telephone call from the International Bank, which is situated. At number fifty-one Main Street, grid reference three three one four nine seven. The female clerk stated that a group of three armed men were trying to rob the bank. She also stated that the robbers were wearing black face masks, and two of them appeared to be carrying AK forty-sevens. The other had a handgun. The operator immediately dispatched four patrol vehicles to the scene, each car having four officers on board. The officers were advised not to use their police sirens as they approached the bank. Two of the police vehicles were used to block the road at either side of the bank, approximately three hundred and fifty meters away. The other two vehicles stopped one hundred meters away from the bank. The officer in charge decided not to enter the bank to challenge the robbers, as this may lead to innocent people being injured. The officers had just got themselves into a position of cover when the three masked men ran from the bank into the street. The man with the handgun was carrying a large black bag, approximately one hundred centimeters long, fifty centimeters wide. And seventy-five centimeters high. The three men headed towards a white-colored vehicle, registration number five five six, Kilo Sierra, zero zero one, which was parked in front of the bank. There was a man in the driving seat. He was not wearing a face mask, and the officers could clearly see he had black hair. Dark-coloured skin, and a scar on the left side of his face that ran from his eye to his chin. As the masked men approached the vehicle, the officer in charge shouted a challenge to them, telling them to surrender and put their weapons on the ground. The two men with the AK-47s started firing at the officers who had taken up positions closest to the bank. Police returned fire, killing the two men with the AK-47s. One was hit in the head and died instantly. The other received four shots to the body and one shot to the head. He died at the scene before the ambulance arrived. The man who was carrying the bag was caught in the crossfire and received injuries to his right leg and left hand. At this point. The driver of the vehicle surrendered to the police. He was later identified as being Mark Smith. Date of birth: sixteenth June, nineteen eighty-five. Home address: sixteen Hill Street. Grid reference: eight one zero zero nine two. An ambulance was called to the scene, and the injured robber. Was taken to the hospital for treatment. His injuries were not life-threatening. He was identified as Tom Baker. Date of birth: twenty-third July, nineteen eighty-four. Home address: twenty-two Hill Street. Grid reference: eight one zero zero nine one. The two dead men were also taken away from the scene. They were later identified as being James and John Smart. They had been twins who were born on the fourteenth of July, 
1985. They had no known address. The area was sealed off to allow a forensic examination. 37 empty cases were recovered from the scene, calibre 7.62mm. 15 cases being recovered, calibre 9mm. The black bag was also recovered. It was found to contain 250,000 euros, along with a loaded shotgun. None of the bank staff or civilian personnel who were in the bank at the time had been injured in any way. A total of 17 witness statements were recorded from people in the bank. All the officers involved in the incident were offered stress counselling and after recording their statements were allowed to go home and were told to take two to three days off, allowing them to recover from the traumatic experience. Dialogue Police Chief Please tell me what happened yesterday at the International Bank. Officer, at 1300 hours on the 16th March 2006, the operator in police station number 9 received an emergency telephone call from the International Bank at number 51 Main Street, great reference 331497, saying the bank was being robbed. Did the caller give any other information? Yes, sir. The female clerk said that a group of three armed people, all of them were wearing black face masks, were trying to rob the bank. She also said that two of them were carrying what appeared to be AK-47s, with a third person carrying a handgun. What happened then? The operator immediately dispatched four patrol vehicles to the scene, advising them not to use their sirens when they were approaching the bank. How many officers were there? The operator immediately dispatched four patrol vehicles to the scene, advising them not to use their sirens when they approached the bank. How many officers were there? Each vehicle had four officers on board, sir. Thank you. Please continue. Two of the vehicles were used to block the road at either side of the bank, they stopped approximately 350 meters away and the other two vehicles stopped 100 meters away from the bank. Why didn't they enter the bank? They did not want to enter the bank and challenge the robbers as this may have led to innocent people being injured. That was probably the best decision. The officers had ju only just taken up their positions when the masked man ran from the bank into the street. The officers at the scene could clearly see the masked man with a handgun was carrying a large black bag. Approximately 100 centimeters long, 50 centimeters wide and 75 centimeters high. The three men were running towards a white colored vehicle. Registration number 556 Kilo Sierra 001, which was parked in front of the bank. Was there anybody in the vehicle? Yes, sir. There was a man sitting in the driving seat. He had black hair, dark colored skin, and he had a scar on the left side of his face that ran from his eye to his chin. Didn't any of the officers issue a challenge? Yes, sir. As the masked man approached the vehicle, an officer challenged them, telling to surrender and to put their weapons on the ground. And did they surrender? No, sir. The two men with the AK-47s started firing at the officer nearest the bank. The officers returned fire. The two men with the AK-47s were killed. One of them was hit in the head and died instantly. The other was shot in the body four times and in the head once. He died at the scene before the ambulance arrived. What about the man carrying the black bag? He was injured in the crossfire with a wound to his right leg and another to his left hand. It was at this point that the vehicle driver surrendered to the police. Have you managed to identify all the men involved in the robbery? 
Yes, sir. The driver of the vehicle was Mark Smith. Date of birth, 16th June 1985. Home address, 16 Hill Street. Grid reference, 810092. The injured man is Tom Baker. Date of birth, 23rd July 1984. Home address, 22 Hill Street. Grid reference, 810091. The two dead men were identified as being James and John Smart. They had been twins. Date of birth, 14th July 1985. They had no known address. Did you get any evidence from the scene? Yes, sir. After the area was sealed off, the forensic department recovered 37 empty cases of 7.62 mm caliber and 15 empty cases of 9 mm caliber. They also recovered the black bag used during the robbery. It contained 250,000 euros and a loaded shotgun. Did any of the people in the bank get injured? No, sir. No one else was injured during the incident. Anything else? What about statements? Seventeen witness statements were recorded from the people who were in the bank during the incident. What happened to the officers involved? They were all offered stress counseling and after recording their statements were allowed to go home and told to take two to three days off allowing them to recover from the traumatic experience. Thank you for your assistance.